my beloved brothers and sisters and friends and whoever is watching this video. I want to greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray that the Spirit of God will bless your life today by this short meditation. Today's meditation is from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 11, where we have uh, the record of uh, one of the greatest miracles that Jesus performed, even raising Lazarus from the dead. Jesus was sent the message. Jesus, the one whom you love, Lazarus, our brother, he is sick. And Jesus, come, for without you, he will not make it. But Jesus didn't come. Ultimately, when Jesus came, it was already four days late and his body was decaying in the grave. And Martha and Mary, both of them told him the same thing. Jesus, if you had been here, our brother would not have died. He would have been living today. But now it is too late. It is four days past. And then Jesus replied to them, If you believe, you shall see the glory of the Lord. What Jesus meant was, your brother will rise again. And they didn't realize that uh, Jesus was there and he was going to raise him from the dead that day. Because Jesus also told them, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me shall not die. Now, the way of the Lord, our God, the God of the Bible, is quite different. It's just opposite to the world's views. The world say, you see and then you believe. But our God says, you believe and then you shall see the glory of God. The glory of God in what? In the resurrection of your brother. In the coming back to life of your brother. In that, you will see the glory of God. Before we can see the glory of God, we must learn to accept his refusal. What do I mean by this? How do we take refusals? Like Jesus refused to come when the sisters wanted him to come. He stayed on for two more days, relaxed, and he took his own time to arrive. The sisters sent a word to Jesus, but he stayed two more days where he was. And by the time he arrived, at Bethany, Lazarus was already dead for four days. It seems to the sisters that Jesus refused. He refused them the blessing of healing because they wanted him to come and heal Lazarus. But his refusal of one blessing is actually to give them a greater blessing. Let me say that again to you. If you feel that Jesus is refusing to answer your prayer, he is not refusing the blessing. The refusal of one blessing means he is preparing something greater and something higher. By refusing their request, 
he decided to give them far above what they have asked. In verse 15, you may read it and understand it. We also notice that when he came, he also tested their faith. How did he do that? He asked them to lead him to the grave and they led him to the grave. And standing at the grave, in front of the grave, Jesus told them to remove the stone. Why did he ask them to take away the stone? I mean, the one who has come there to raise Lazarus from the dead, he could have by one look caused the stone to move away. There are two important lessons that we can learn from this. Number one, Christ desires your participation in a miracle. He was not there alone. By himself, he could have done everything, the total miracle. But I want you to notice the way he makes them to participate in performing this miracle. He needed their cooperation to remove the stone. It is when you do, you are able to do, miracles happen. When you do your part, God willingly does his part. And what you can do, you do, and then God steps in, he does what you cannot do. You could not bring a dead man alive back. That Jesus could do. But they could easily remove the stone. And they could remove all the grave clothes from him. See, if you notice in that miracle, bringing Lazarus back into life is the only thing Jesus did. Removing the stone, and when he came out, he still had the grave clothes around his face. And it was left to them to remove all the grave clothes and set him free. Because these things did not need a miracle. For the stone to be removed, a miracle was not required. That is something that people could do. For the grave clothes to be removed, a miracle was not needed that people could do again. So, India to become a Jesus worshipping nation. First, he desires the church's participation. Here is a second lesson of a test of faith. If you believe that your brother will rise again and that I am the resurrection and the life, then roll away the stone. And if we believe that the gospel is the only way of salvation and there is no other savior but Jesus Christ, if the church believes it, if you believe it, and if I believe it, what is our part? Our part is to proclaim this truth. Proclaim to everyone, everyone, no matter what, what person's religion is, language is, culture is, nationality is, everyone must hear this one truth that there is one savior who paid the salvation price for you and me. And that is Jesus Christ who died and rose again and now he's alive to save those who call upon his name. If you believe that, and if the church believes that, we must now do our best to let this news go out to every person in India. For this is a lesson for us. When we do our part, Jesus will do his part of bringing people by the hundreds and thousands into his kingdom by the proclamation of the gospel. Get ready 
Let us obey and let us see the miracle. God bless you.